Um, hello and welcome to the first episode of We Are Boss People, a chat with Kat. I am talking with Kat Nguyen. Hi, Kat. Hi, Rob. How are you? <laughs> I am doing well. All is well. Day by day is with us all. Uh, where are you joining us from? I am in Raleigh, North Carolina, as a matter of fact. <laughs> well, hello from Brooklyn and New York City. Um, what do you miss about New York City? Oh, gosh. There are a lot of things I miss about New York City. Um, I love the food, the culture, just the fact that in any neighborhood, if you live there, you feel like you can just explore more and there's just even more to explore. It's just never done. But mostly I miss the energy and my friends. I hear that. Yeah, no, I love the expo exploration thing. I can't travel like Bourdain, but I do walk the streets of Brooklyn and try and go to <laughs> different stores. So there's that. What have you been cooking? Oh, so, okay. Right before everything kind of got a little bit crazy, uh, there was a birthday party for my husband and I made all manner of things from Ina Garten. Um, she has an herb core a la creme recipe, which is like an herbed borson cheese kind of situation, which mm. is really good. Um, there was a smoked salmon spread. There was panko encrusted salmon for the main. There was- <laughs> You're fancy. Yeah, yeah, I, I went a little fancy for his birthday. You know, he turned 45, so. <laughs> um, but I've made oatmeal chocolate chip cookies recently. And then a big old lasagna yesterday for comfort food, you know? Oh, so I don't know if you follow this, but there have been pictures of the uh, New York City um, supermarkets and the fact that there's always a lot of lasagna left over on the shelves. And sure enough, in my local <laughs> one, I went and there was like a whole article about, you know, New Yorkers ain't got time to cook all that lasagna. But then you got a lot of people who are saying, no, lasagna is the perfect quarantine food because it's yes. better the next day. And so I don't know. But it's probably well, just because it was sitting in our pantry because I didn't have time to make it. And finally, I was like, oh, OK, I guess now's the time to make some lasagna. <laughs> now is the time to make lasagna. I think that's that's the same for age. So, Kat, you are a photographer and yes. interior design junkie, art lover. At least that's what I got from your Facebook page. Yes. But why don't, you, why don't you tell everybody about what you're up to? Um, so, gosh, I didn't start out as a photographer when I left school. Um, I actually kind of didn't take the linear route through uh, high school to college. I went to Queens College for a little while, found that it was a little underwhelming, sorry. <laughs> but then I um, worked for a couple of years in Manhattan, and then I started working at McKinsey and & Company. And they had this program where they would subsidize your school if you could make certain grades. So I went to Columbia. Um, at night, wow. and I thought I wanted to be in programming. Um, I didn't. <laughs> so I did that for a while while I worked at McKinsey, and it just it wasn't satisfying. So I just continued working. Um, I ended up working at a branding company uh, called Owen Co. down in Soho. And we rebranded SFX, which was the entertainment company. We rebranded um, Amtrak and kind of came up with the brand for Acela. And I was working, I was the project coordinator. So I was working a lot with creatives and helping to just project manage everything. Right. And I kind of started to realize I liked the creative side of things more than the other side. So I, were you creative like in high school? Was that, did you? No. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I came into Not stuff. And I started taking like, you know, I took pre-cal my freshman year, you know, I was all like math. The and usual. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think it was our junior year. We were required to take, it was either junior year or senior year. We were required to take either band or um, painting or there was one other option. I don't know what the other option was, but I took painting and I'd never done it before. I had zero expectations. And I Wait, found it was painting at Stuy? There was painting. <laughs> so I took that class and it was so relaxing. Mm -hmm. um, and I found that I actually had a little bit of like something, something there, you know? But that was the first inkling that I had that I might have some sort of creative anything. <laughs> did you ever watch Bob Ross? I did, I did. <laughs> I watched Bob Ross, I love him. <laughs> so um, in about 2000, 
Um, I went and traveled a bunch. I was in Spain. I was in Vietnam. I came back with like 30 rolls of film. Right. My boyfriend at the time bought me my first real camera and I started taking some pictures and I went to Cooper Union and I took a couple of classes, but you know, I didn't think anything of it. And then I was working for myself, um, being a creative services project manager, which basically means people were coming to me with like small brand management projects mm. and I would find the creatives to do the work and I would just project manage and liaise with the client. So I was doing that for a while and then September 11th happened and that was kind of, you know. While, and you were working for yourself when it happened. And I was working for myself. <laughs> um, I was, I was actually September 11th happened when I was freelance. Um, I was contracted to Citibank um, in their high, high net worth group. And I was supposed to come up with templates for their pitch books, their marketing pitch books. So that was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not all the investment bankers. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I came back with all these photos and I started, you know, when it was time in about 2003, like things had changed after September 11th. Like I feel like the temperature in New York changed for, for me and I think for a lot of people. And, um, I had a cousin who was going to school for interior design in San Francisco and she called me up and she said, Hey, you know, you don't seem that happy doing what you're doing and you seem to really love photography. Why don't you come out here, come to my school and, and become a photographer. And I thought she was crazy <laughs> because who does that? Right. You go to Stuyvesant and you don't think you're going to become a photographer. Right. Um, but I thought about it some more. I started doing research into the schools and the timing was right. And I, I left um, a career that I had built for myself in New York and went back to school with a bunch of 18 year olds. <laughs> well, and you were like late 20s, early 30s at that time? I was 30 at that wow. time. Wow. Yeah. So that Don't was, move. it was, it was, it took a lot of, um, you just have to jump, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to jump and being, Asian, my dad was not really into me being a photographer. <laughs> he didn't understand that I could actually make it a career. He kind of thought I wanted to become a photographer in the fine art sense. And there's nothing, I mean, I, I enjoy fine art photography, but I always knew I wanted to be a commercial photographer. So I always knew yeah. I would be able to find work. Um, did you, well, how did you know what a commercial photographer was at that point? Well, I mean... I had hired a bunch of commercial photographers when I was working at the branding company. So right. I'd interacted with them for sure. Um, I'd hired product photographers. I'd hired, you know, other kinds of photographers like uh, scouting photographers. So I knew there were many different kinds of photographers and uh, it always interested me to go back and know that I would go back to school and know that I would have a career. I didn't want to just kind of go to art school. I wanted to be a photographer, a working photographer. Right. So that's kind of how I ended up in photography. <laughs> and then I'm just curious. So you said you knew you were into photography. So you were just, it was part of your job, but you were also just using your camera, just taking pictures uh, as a hobby. As a hobby, like when I was traveling. So, okay. When I went to kind of go back to when I started painting in high school, I really enjoyed that after that one class. And so I found that I would do it more and more on my own time. And so I started to take pictures to remember scenes so that I could paint them later. And when I went abroad, I was taking a lot of pictures because everything was just, you know, it was amazing, all this, um, this visual stimuli, right? So then I came back with these 30 rolls of film and it was time to kind of move that to the next level. Mm -hmm. And when I did that, I became less interested in the painting and more interested in the photography. So, very and, cool. yeah, and in photography school, I found that all the science we learned, like the chemistry, because I was still learning in the dark room, um, that was very useful. <laughs> like, there were so many art students who just kind of were not into the math of what, like, a lot of photography is math, 
you know, with the f-stops and the conversions and you kind of, it becomes second nature after a while. But at first, it's definitely math, you know, there's right. no way around it. Right. So, so every, every fool that runs around with their uh, camera phone and thinks they're a photographer, you scoff at that? <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I think there's been some amazing photography I've seen on camera phones, you know, but I think a lot of those photographers started out as um, camera-based photographers first, and then they kind of learned to break their own rules, so. So I, I, I got to ask you, though, about your experience when you were at that school in San Francisco. So were you like the the cool New York, uh, you know, uh, wizened person in the class who they were kind of afraid of because you were just a boss chick? Or what was what was it like your experience being with 18 year olds there? Oh, technical difficulties. Can you hear me? You're frozen. Where are you, cat? <laughs> 